Welcome to this presentation about managing human factors and quality management systems. I'm working on the book on industrial psychology and I'm also working on a book on about failure. And to me as a working ISO auditor with experience with all types of organizations, this is an important topic. The first question of the day is, how are we going to do what the ISO 9001-2015 standard says, which states in 714 that the organization shall maintain the environment necessary to achieve product conformity, including human and physical factors, and an 851-Q, which states that controlled conditions shall also include actions to prevent human error. Let's take a moment to define the human factors. Sanders and McCormick in 1993 give the following definition. Human factors discovers and applies information about human behavior, abilities, limitations, and other characteristics to the design of tools, machines, systems, tasks, jobs, and environments for productive, safe, comfortable, and effective human use. For a lot of this presentation, I use as a guideline a very good presentation by Dr. Jenny Gallimore from Wright State University, which I'll provide a reference to below. She based her work on the work of James Reason in 1990. This approach basically says that human errors are inevitable in a system. They are a multi-layered phenomenon. And gaps in each of these layers contribute to the occurrence of what we might call system failures. This is called the Swiss cheese model, and it can also be applied in the field of safety, and it can also be applied in the field of quality systems where a failure might be a defective part or an ineffectively performed service. The Swiss cheese model as applied to safety is that failures do not occur in isolation but result from lapses and defenses represented by holes in each of the levels of the organization. We're talking about organizational issues, supervisory issues, preconditions for failure, and at the lowest level, the actual unsafe act that led to the accident or adverse event. The Swiss cheese model as applied to quality systems is that there are the same four layers in the organization and lapses in effective defenses are represented by the holes in the layers. The layers are organizational, supervisory, and these lead to preconditions that exist in the system. And finally, the holes in the failure level that lead to the quality failure or adverse event. This brings us to the end of part one. When we come back, we'll look at a real world example of how considering human factors leads you to asking some important questions about what's happening in the organization.